you have a lawyer? No, I don't need one. Like I said, it was self-defense. Just get a lawyer. A good one. Jane, you did this to get under my skin. She came highly recommended. Yes, and I really don't need a lawyer. And unfortunately, you're not the most sympathetic defendant. And this isn't your first time being a person of interest in a murder investigation. Oh, that's why it would just be easier if I called you JR. JR? It's JR. 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 Not JR. JR! You're JR. Come on, you see my expensive shoes. You know my hotel is worth millions, so you're trying to make it seem like this is some complicated case that's going to require hundreds of billable hours. If you call me JR, I'll call you Peter. I'm Peter. Pete. Do you just give my nickname a nickname? And you'll pay it to someone else, because I'm not interested. Krishna! Find me another lawyer. Call Jane Ramos. No, tell him I don't care what it costs. This is my third message. Please have Ms. Ramos call me back. Thank you for coming back. Just need a minute. Sorry. You accused me of being a crook. And I am so sorry. I think it's all just hitting me. Well, you heard. She was with my daughters. How did she get to my daughter? You just push people too far, Petra. And at a certain point, they can't come back anymore. I don't have anyone on my side anymore. And now I'm all alone. And I'm just so tired, honestly, of just having to always be on my guard. This isn't your problem. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna fix this. Change my mind. And you are Petra? Yes, and I really don't need a lawyer. Well, thank you, JR. No problem. Thank you for being here, JR. Dad, since there are kids involved. Right. I know she's so basic. I got an email from the DA this morning. He wants to meet about the case on Thursday. Oh, look. Petra made a friend. Thank you. A friend who charges $600 an hour, but still. Not really. My mother has early onset Alzheimer's, and I just found out the top specialist here in Miami won't take any patients. For Jared's mother. I want to get her in to see that Alzheimer's specialist. I have a lot of connections at the hospital. I just wanted to say thank you for getting an appointment for my mother. It meant a lot. Jade and I made up, so thank you. That's great. I'll let the detectives know you're cooperating, Peter. <laughs> and what is it with this Jane? Are you in love with her or something? What? No. Then why are you obsessed with her? I'm not. I'm just going to ask the same questions over and over to try to find inconsistencies. Just keep it simple. You got this. Just don't let them rattle you. Because she's mad. Are you okay? Fine. Jane's a good person. So if she's done with me, I must be awful. You're not awful. I hardly know you, and you got my mom in to see a doctor. Like, whatever your beef is with this other Jane, just don't take no for an answer. Petra? W what are you doing here? You can't cancel brunch. Have a seat, girls. Um, what's going on? It's brunch. And. I need to make things right between us, so... Because I need you to trust me, too. You're relentless. <laughs> Got it down. Looks like I got you off. Really? Yeah. I'm really gonna get you off. <gasps> well, that's one kind of sexual awakening. You're under arrest for the murder of your sister, Inesca Archuleta. Jane? Yes? yes. Thank you for bailing me out, JR. I'm going to get you off, Petra. I just want to get out of here. My lawyer. You like her? Look, it doesn't matter if I like her. I tampered with evidence to get a client off. A few weeks ago, I got an email. Someone knew about it. Said I had to even the scales, make sure someone guilty and rich went to jail. They threatened to expose me. The 
minute I realized you didn't kill your sister, I told them I wanted out. I'm going to have you disbarred. Hopefully thrown in prison. I understand. But I do want to say, no one will work harder to get you out of this than me. Get out. The screws are out. I told you, I'm going to get you out of this. Good. Because if you don't, your career is over. Good. Now tell them you want to meet in person. Anything? It's been two days. How have we not heard from them? Petra, calm down. You calm down. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're still working with them. You I'm could not. be. I mean, you were, and what do I really know about Stop. Petra! I knew I couldn't trust you. Breathe. We're in this together, okay? I'm not working for anyone else. If you go down, I go down. I planted that burner phone. I sent those texts. What? To see if you'd actually reach out to me if you heard from them, which you didn't. Only because I'm being followed and you've been so strung out. I don't want to risk you messing anything up. You think they'll believe that? What? That I was seduced? I wouldn't worry. You were pretty into that kiss. What? No, it wasn't. Text them back, make it convincing. <laughs> did you just giggle? <clears throat> I do not giggle. You did. And you're blushing. Who was that? No one. I think the tongue you slipped me during our kiss was pretty compelling. Oh, snap. What? I'm not. <laughs> oh my god, you have a crush. Did someone just ask you to the prom? No, I do not have a crush. Because I'm not into being a straight woman's guinea pig. What makes you think I haven't been with a woman? Have you? Yes. Several. But I mean, is there anywhere you can, you know, relax? Sex. I like go in bed. I like to submit. To be dominated. That's where Raphael and I got along so well. Hi. Hey. You remember my mom? Yes. The other night. It was a one-time thing. I mean, obviously. JR, wait! Petra? <laughs> you, what, you thought this was for you? Please. What is it? You left your pen. Who would know everything that the blackmailers have said? Know your life that intimately. Know about your past, that song. Krishna? You're the blackmailer. I was hoping you would think it was Magda. I just recorded everything she said. So did I. Jane, I'm calling because, well, the truth is, I like you. More than I want to admit. <laughs> Jane, I have unexpected and strong romantic feelings for you. That's all? Finally, a reply. That's it? Ugh, this is torture. Do you have romantic feelings for me? Ew! Ew? This... Why would you say that? Not that Jane! Like, it's a little harsh. I was talking about Jane Ramos. My lawyer. Oh, smoking yeah, that makes sense. That's exactly why I call her JR, to avoid this confusion. Got it. So does this mean you're no women now? Did you get the vibe that she likes you too? It's more in the vibe. We had sex. <gasps> what? Wow. How was it? Okay, then. Okay, enough! I know I said I didn't want to talk to you about JR, but you and Jane are the only ones who knew about us, so I have no choice. Okay. See, I sent her this text asking her if she wanted to meet, and then she wrote back asking for us about the case, and now I don't know what to say back. Well... Because it's not about the case. It's about my personal feelings, but if I tell her that, it could easily scare her off. I think... Because I'm thinking about JR and the sex. Oh my god, that's on another level. Oh, you can't imagine. But she just makes me so nervous. And I've never been nervous around anyone before. I've always felt so in control. Like with you, just sit, beg, roll over. So easy, but I can't do that with JR. Petra! Ooh. What would I do? Uh, a nice bottle of wine, candlelight, flowers. A romantic gesture. <laughs> Look, we're not right for each other. We're not my type. I mean, can you believe she said that? I'm everyone's type. I'm sorry it didn't go well. If I'm not her type, then who is? Not that I care, I'm just curious. What the hell are you doing here? Are you stalking me? What? No, I was just meeting someone. 
Okay, fine, I followed you. Why would you do that? I just wondered if I'm not your type, who is your type? And then, next thing I knew, I was driving after you. <laughs> oh my god, this is so not me! All of it! I don't obsess about what I'm wearing, or overanalyze text messages, or stalk anyone! I have no idea what the hell is going on with me, except that I like you, okay? And it's not just about the sex, clearly. And I should go. I was impressed back at the restaurant. What about your date? She wouldn't have driven into a car wash for me. I really, really like you. A lot. I want you here. I'm moving in. I didn't want to scare you away. I get scared when you're not straightforward. Oh, it's hard. So I wanted to know we were serious before getting into all that. No, but mine aren't normal kids. They're like miniature adults. And I'd love to officially meet them. Love us to get along. How come? How come? Because you're really important to Petra. These are the shoes you wore the night of Ineshka's death, and this heel has clearly been repaired before. What? Admit it. Admit it! I was only trying to protect my girls. Please! I give up everything for you. My career, my reputation, because I believed you when you said you were innocent. It was all a lie. I am sorry. I am so sorry. We're done, Petra. I never want to see you again. Well, do you love her? I think I do. So what's the problem? Just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Oh, thank God you picked up. It's Krishna. I've been calling Petra. She hasn't picked up, and I think she's in danger. And now I think they want to kill Mrs. Solano. Which is scary, because it's so fast. But here's the thing. I've never felt about anyone the way I feel when I'm with you. And I think I just quoted Dirty Dancing, but that's the kind of cheesy thing you make me do. It's you. 